milk, all right? Okay. Uh, need a, a plate, and we're just using these little plates that are here. This so you're is whole fill. milk we're using? Yes, and you're going to find that that's going to be important a little later on without giving away the secret. Uh, okay. So there you go. So here's our milk. Okay. Got it? All right. And then we're going to use some food coloring. So I'm going to let this one sit for a second on yours. Pick up the food coloring, and you're just going to put a couple drops in the middle. So a couple drops of green. Go ahead and do yours. Oh, okay. So a uh, couple drops. One? Yeah, that's perfect. Right. A little yellow there, a little bit of blue. Good. Okay. A little bit of red. I that's splattered there. mine a little uh, bit you did there. a great job. Yeah. And so, uh, again, not super important. I just don't want it moving around a lot uh, here it's early on. It's kind of just staying and uh, it's not yes, spreading it out. Yeah, mine's moving a little bit because I just poured it. Ah. Uh, so you'll see a little bit difference there. All yeah. right. So we want the milk to move, and believe it or not, to get the milk to move around so we see a burst of color, we're going to use Dawn dish soap. All oh. right, so just any hand dish soap, but we're going to use this as, as our piece there. And we have some um, cotton swab. So okay. go ahead and take your cotton oh. swab, dip it down into the soap, right. and then kind of work it off to the side so it's not super drippy. And right. now what I want you to do is this. We're going to focus on this first one, your plate the over here. The green one here? You're going to go right into the very middle of it here in a second. You're just going to put it right down inside and watch what happens. All right. Okay? Do so I, when I put it in there, do I leave it there? Yeah, just leave it right there. So the green the green one here. Absolutely. Right. Just right. any of them is fine. Just put it in. Oh. oh leave it inside. Oh, Go ahead leave and leave it in, it in the there and watch what happens. Oh, you get this burst. Oh, look at now this. Now look at this. The milk continues to move and continues to move. You're not moving your hand Can at you all. you see with my big see, fat hand no, in there? No. See that explosion of color that's there? Look. Oh, it's still going. Yeah, Gee great. Whiz. All right. So mine over here. Focus on this one over here as we move over again. It stopped moving. And so as we get close to it here and we go down inside, you might be able to see the very center of it. Watch what happens. As soon as we touch, oh, we get that burst of color. Look at that. Just amazing. That is amazing. So, so here's the soap that the soap that is the uh, catalyst for all of this. You're huh? coming into it. So um, milk. Uh, I guess the first question I'd ask is it only with milk? And so if I was doing this as a science fair project, I might try an, uh, something else. I might try something like water over here. Look at that. A little bit of the soap is still, still in there, and it's still going. That? When oh, we do this that. with <laughs> water, you'll see that absolutely nothing happens at all. So if I were to put some food coloring in the water here like this, and then try to put this in here, it doesn't move around. Yeah. It gives us an initial little. It moves out of the way, but then it doesn't move around like you see with the other ones. So the secret is the fat in the milk, all right, and the soap. Oh, so nice. soap, if you think of a molecule of soap like this, it has this long tail, and then it has what chemists call a polar end on it. And what's happening here is as soon as you put the soap in there, the soap molecules are aligning and the fat trying to line up with the fat, so it literally goes and grabs those globules of fat. That's how when you wash your hands with soap, it pulls the grease away. The soap has to hook onto the fat. So the motion that you see here is the soap trying to hook onto the fat, oh, and you're seeing this twisting and turning and churning, and that's exactly what you have going Isn't here. That so, Something. and kids will have a blast. If I'm going to turn it into a science fair project, try yours. I think it'll still give us uh, a little bit. I would try moving just one variable. So, I think I would try using 2% milk instead of whole milk, or I might try another one with 1%. What would happen if I warm the milk, but again, keeping everything the same on each one of those. Right. All right? Yeah. The key for a science fair project is only change one variable. So keep everything the same and just change the soap and see what the differences are. But that seems to be the piece. How? And you oh, have a making that. of a really easy science fair project, but one that has some great content behind that it. That is. That is very good. Cool. It's so simple, too.